this little guy just stole two bananas from one baby stroller and now he's enjoying them. I've been trying to go the other way, but I can't seem to get you out of my head. If you're new to our channel, welcome. I'm Lena, and this is my lovely husband, Dan. In our last episode, we explored the southern Thailand's west coast. If you haven't seen our Thailand series, you may click the link on the right corner. In this episode, we are flying to Singapore. Singapore was our very first country we visited. We thought we have lost our footage, so we were very happy when we found our very first vlog. Hope you enjoy it! Since you told me what could become of me I put together all the pieces And now it's time for me to fly away Everything is just easy Since you told me what could become of me I put together all the pieces And now it's time for me to fly away Welcome to Singapore we are pleased to announce that we have arrived on time and schedule. The local time is half past one in the afternoon. For the MRT right now. So we're going. This way. How do you like the ice cream? Very good. Thank you. We got an ice cream, mango, and this was what was it? Blueberry ripple. Mm, it was really good. Okay. I like my mango. So where are we going? So we decided to visit the zoo. So we're waiting for the MRT and we are going to the zoo. We are right here. And we need to go to right there. It's like 25 minutes right with the MRT. The most convenient, cheapest way to go to Singapore Zoo is taking the north-south line to Katip MRT station. And from there, take the direct shuttle bus to Singapore Zoo. <laughs> Welcome to the wild. I want to meet the dragon. We got our tickets for the zoo. Night Safari, River Safari, and uh, Bird Safari. Bird, Bird Park, and, Safari. and the Dragon Safari. <laughs> and it started to rain. So, now we're debating if we should stay or we should go home and come another day, since we haven't entered the park yet. It's raining, it's like on and off. But we still decided to go. Where are we starting? This is our first encounter. 
Oh wow, there is another one here. There are so many crocodiles, one more here. We're gonna meet. White face sucking monkey. Look at his body! Look at his nose! <laughs> what kind of nose do you have? <laughs> oh my god, look at his nose! Yeah. This guy's famous for <laughs> Go find the dragons and the beasts. I can't wait to meet the dragons and the mystical beasts. Okay, we have to find the dragon. So still here, here with the dragon. Oh my god, I see the dragon. I see the dragon. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the dragon. Now we are looking for the beast. They don't look like beasts. They are so cute. They are sweethearts, not beasts. Oh, he's looking at us. Hi, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, now he's pretending to be the beast. Hi. Cutest dragon ever. Ah, there we go. Finally, guys, we know where they keep all the animals for the TV show Game of Thrones. It's only the one dragon. The other two, they escaped. This is the one of the dragon from uh, Game of Thrones. Only one survived, so don't expect to see the other two in the next uh, season.
by the name of Aprila and the reason why she was given the name because she was born in April and she has a sister here which won't be coming out today okay so now if you focus on your left there will be one more elephant that is coming out and that girl is a Malaysian elephant that is coming down right now and uh, she has been here for 28 years now she came here when she was only two years old the female do not have any task at all unlike the african where both the male and female can have the task so it's actually much easier to differentiate the sex of the asian elephants just by looking at the task rather than the african elephant <laughs> he just stole this banana from one straw and, and the baby start crying. <laughs> wow. He wants his banana. Thank you for showing me your butt. <laughs> <laughs> 